There are, of course, the more significant and more disturbing acts of sexual harassment or bullying. Fortunately, myself, I've, I've never experienced anything like that and I've been lucky in that way, but um, what I've noticed is more an attitude of sexism or attitudes of um, denigrating different groups, uh, perhaps casually or without even noticing that that is what is being said. And to me, that attitude, that thought that that is an okay thing to do and to say it in a workplace um, is what was inappropriate and what really needs to be called out. I tried to convey my experiences and also the experiences and the perspective of doctors in training who are often bearing the brunt of the harassment and bullying that we've been discussing. Um, I've also tried to reach out to a larger um, proportion of my colleagues to sort of discuss this issue and I think it's been really interesting seeing the responses. Many people were talking about this at work and going, you know what, actually I can think of things that I wasn't comfortable with instances in which I was bullied or perhaps I was harassed and I think it's really got people talking and become much more aware of it and those who had previously said oh no this couldn't be a problem for us this isn't something that we're significantly affected by maybe perhaps this is just a surgical problem I think those people have really changed their way of thinking. So the first reactions that I witnessed were of shock um, and of surprise that sexual harassment and bullying could be such a concern for the medical profession and could be something that really does persist in such a large way. But I think after that, people began to talk amongst themselves, go, no, actually, this is a problem. And then there's been a real sense of wanting to take responsibility for this and converting that shock and that outrage, really, that this has been allowed to persist into a need to take action. Thank you.